In this video, we're going to draw the activity network, activity on arc, uh, from this precedence table, and we're only allowed to use, well, we have to use exactly two dummies. So, activity A doesn't depend on anything. So, I'm going to start off just drawing activity A from my start node 0. And B, C, and D all rely on A, so I have that as a node. Then B, C, D. And let's label that one. OK, so E uh, relies on B. So I'm going to have that going horizontally, I think, for the moment. And I'll label that number two. Uh, F relies on both B and C. So because B is already here, and I've got C here, I'm going to have to have my first dummy joining those up. So I'll put an arrow on it there. This is going to be number 3. And I need F. So let's come in, have it coming off there. There's F. Not a very straight line. Let's try that again. OK, so that's F. Now, G relies on both D and F. So, because G depends on both D and F, um, I need some way of connecting these two up now. So, how do I do that? Um, well, I could have, uh, I could redraw um, F. Um, coming down here, couldn't I? So let's do that. So F relies on both B and C, that's fine. Uh, G relies on D and F. So let's have that. Okay, uh, H relies on D. Okay, well, now you can see we've got a bit of a problem. Um, we've got a bit of a problem because now, how do I identify that um, H just relies on D? So, what I've got here, there's no way that I can just add on another edge now or a dummy edge that will fix this. So I need some other way of doing it. So let's backtrack. If this ever happens, so we need to backtrack. Go, OK. Let's go back to that. And really what I want to do is I want to put H on before I put on G. OK, uh, H just relies on D. G relies on both D and F, and that was where the problem was. So, I'm going to put F back here for the moment. Now I'm going to identify H. So here's H. G relies on D and F. Now, I can have that happen if I put in my second dummy here. So here's the next dummy, the second dummy that I needed, so that G can come off this node here. OK, now I know I can see that I is going to rely on both G and H. So looking ahead, I could have G doing this. So that can be labelled um, number four, that could be labelled number five. They can now be joined together, so that I depends on both G and H. So that could be labelled number 6. And we need to connect up E and I for the final node, for the final event. And that could be labelled number 7. OK, so... There's a learning opportunity here that if you can look ahead 
and could visualize what will happen, have to happen next, then that's great. I'm not very good at that. Um, you know, in drawing these, looking ahead and seeing where the connection is going to be, I find that quite difficult. So if you look ahead and go, right, I've got this single one here, it probably makes sense to draw that first before you draw one that has two, uh, that depends on two of the activities. Okay? So it requires a little bit of a learning curve building up an activity network from precedence table um, and including the dummies. But always make sure you read the question because it might identify how many dummies you actually need to use.